It's obviously very concerning news regarding Manuel Solomon. Um, Paul O'Keefe saying that Manuel Solomon has suffered an MCL injury and faces potentially two to three months out. Uh, reports from a chap called Raz Amir, um, an Israeli journalist, says that Manuel Solomon has suffered a meniscus injury in training and set to undergo surgery tomorrow, which will result in him being out to three to four months. I mean, with the in, with the news about Hyung Min Son, you know, he's also suffering from injury, not being able to train as often. Brennan Johnson out injured and also Perisic, obviously, out for the rest of the season. Sean, how concerning is this for you? Yeah, it's really concerning, mate. It's really concerning. Um, you know, listen, I, I hate the international breaks, but it can't come soon enough. You hope that, that that one, we can get through Luton and you hope that a little bit of break can give some respite for people like Madison and Sonny to get whatever niggles they, they're going through. And I don't know the details. Let me know if you do. But, um, you know, and hopefully we can we can get them back fighting fit and hopefully they don't go on international duty. Um, and so they can they can get, get themselves prepared for what's coming up in December. But yeah, in, in, in you know, in, in terms of like getting four or five body blows in the same area of the team, at the same time, it's uh, it feels a little bit reminiscent of last season, to be honest. When you know, around the same time, we got two or three, we, we couldn't really field any any attacking options off the bench. I think this time round, it looks like it's going to be something similar. But you know, what I would say is, come of the hour, you know, come of the man, there's out of every adversity, there's opportunity. You hope that Brian Hill might get a chance if he's fully fit to step up. Maybe even someone like Jamie Donnelly, who's just absolutely smashing it in the under 21s, maybe. You know, out of like these sorts of moments, are what can 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 kind of can give uh, our our youngsters or our, our our players that are on the fringe the opportunity to show us what they're made of, and you hope that they can step up. But obviously, on paper, yeah, it's it's horrible, mate. And in January, we're going to have to go again in the market in an area that we might not have necessarily um, had intentions to go again in. So it is what it is, though, right? Henry, uh, in terms of the charge for the title, which I heard you speaking about on uh, Sunday night. What do you reckon? Does this? Uh, well, take why are you all laughing? Just, just say it. Just say it. <laughs> well, I don't know why we're laughing here. Like we saw Man United last night, that Moroccan Lee Catamol, like playing left back. Everyone, everyone's <laughs> talking about teams. Like, wh why not? Like, I'd rather the injury be a winger than a centre back. I know, like trying to make, uh, you know, a, a, a good positive out of it, which I can't believe I'm saying it because I get this negative tag. But I'd rather it be a winger where we've got a little bit more depth than if it was. Romero or Van der Ven, it would be a big, big worry. It's a shame for Solomon, isn't it? He had a good game against Burnley, a couple of assists, didn't do much against Sheffield United, and then, you know, didn't really, he hasn't really had like a consecutive four or five games yet, and he gets injured. But in terms of this, like the amount of mud, quote unquote, I've got for saying that what's the difference between what we're doing right now and Arsenal, like I, I really don't. Like, I'm not even trying to jump on this, like, Babs, like, this phase stuff that he does over at Arsenal. But right now, we're four months into our process, project, journey, whatever you want to call it. And we're miles ahead than when Arsenal were. Arsenal were, you know, struggling down in eighth. Yeah. Like, we're mm -hmm. sitting here watching the best... We're only seven seeing. games into a season, though, Henry. Yeah, but that's... Yeah, but look at our next four games. They're winnable games. And if you're saying you get a rough idea where a team are roughly... Okay, it, everything can change if we get a couple of injuries. But if we're 10, 11 games in on the form we're on now, then why not go top three, top two? Why not get a couple of bodies in in January? Everyone's laughing at me. You know, like when Nigel Farage says, well, you're not laughing now, are you? If Levy goes in and gives <laughs> Postpoglu the keys, then then why not, mate? Why not? <laughs> Sim, what are you thinking about the uh, the injury for Manuel Solomon? Yeah, it's gutting for him, isn't it? And off the back as well, if I remember rightly, last season, he had a very serious injury which kept him out for around six months, didn't it? Yeah, right at the beginning, only when he um, started for Fulham. He, again, very similar. Like, he, like he, he had a few games for Fulham, got an injury, and then um, came back six months, then had like a few good games, and then it kind of petered out for him. This season, he's had a few good games, and now he's picked up a serious injury. MCL, though, didn't didn't Bentancor uh, do his MCL? Was it, was it an ACL? Because I thought wasn't he's like a, a grade three though or something? Isn't that uh, a maybe a more serious? Maybe it was a more serious MCL yeah. um, that Bentancor did. But look, it's gutting for him because I thought he'd been playing fairly well, especially when he in the two starts he had against Burnley and Sheffield United. Um, I thought he was probably one of our uh, stronger players in those games. And uh, considering that Perisic is also out, they, they look, our two starting 
potentially starting left wingers, Perisic and Solomon, going into the season now both out for a significant portion of the season. So that's a massive blow. Thankfully, Richarlison had a great game out on the left, I thought, against Liverpool uh, last time out, and he's can play there. As Sean said, Brian Hill's coming back into the fold now, and he's definitely a player who can play in that position. We know if need be, Son can fill in in that position as well, albeit we probably still want him down the centre. Maybe if Son is going to pl- have some time there, that could maybe give some opportunities to someone like a Valise potentially down the centre, or, or maybe even a Jamie Donnelly as well. So look, we have options. Um, Brennan Johnson is, can still play on the left as well. We've, we started on the left against Arsenal. So thankfully, I don't think in terms of... Look, if we, as, as Henry Wright, I think, correctly said, if we're going to get an injury somewhere, I think that's probably the, in the, the position we probably can most fill in for. I would say on the left hand side. How many more injuries can we accept there? They're mounting up like uh, a wildfire here. I mean, but you'd rather it be there than. No, 100%. We've got Johnson on anymore, though. Until now, until this point, you'd rather it be there. But you don't want any more of it. Yeah. (laughs) Now you need to be somewhere else. Yeah. All right. Now you're talking about, because right now we're talking about players who are maybe for potentially first choice in other positions filling in on the left. So if they get injured, all of a sudden that leaves other positions like light, if you know what I mean. So um, look, we got Johnson, we got Richarlison, we got Hill. Uh, they could all blow up. And also say it very, very quietly. Ryan Sessegnon is coming back to full fitness as well. Oh, uh, so we got, we, got, we got Ryan Sessegnon. All right. You can say what you want about Ryan Sessegnon, but he could also be an option there. All right, you don't want to completely rule that out. Uh, we haven't seen what Ange can do with a fully fit Ryan Sessegnon. I don't think we should know what anyone can do with a fully fit Ryan Sessegnon yet. You, um, were saying, but... you were saying the same things in, in August about Tanguy and Dombele. All right. Well, you see him last yeah, night, by the way. He was great last night. Yeah, he was. He was, he was you know, great. He was cooking. Time. You know, I couldn't touch him. Maybe bring him back in January. But anyway, that's a, a talk for another point. Uh, another day. Hamilton Sanchez uh, got two assists. Sessegnon isn't... Um, isn't an attitude thing. It's a, it's a fitness thing and a quality thing. But anyway, look, he's also there. I'm just saying we have options that could maybe fill in if need be. So uh, as much as I'm gutted for Solomon, uh, he did start, it did start well for him at Spurs. And I was excited to see him given more opportunities um, with Son moving centrally. But that's got to be gutting. But I, I do wonder where that leaves him when it comes to his overall standing within the squad. Because let's say he comes back in, what, March time? What are we saying? Um, November, December, January. February. Uh, okay, so February. he's still got the second half of the season to come through. Because I was thinking, if he's going to miss a big portion of the season, I wonder what we think of him next season. Do we see him as a main option or do we just buy someone and assuming like he's going to be third or fourth choice or something like that? Because I do believe him coming on a free... He's kind of looking, he needs to prove himself a bit in a way. But even though I, I think it's a smart signing, like it's not a signing that I'm still convinced by in terms of he can be a proper option, like starting every week for us. And I think, still think he needs to prove that to us. And I still think Ange isn't convinced, judging by how he's used him, in my opinion, um, that he's going to be his main winger at any point. So I look, he's going to have the second half of the season. So it's not like he's going to, you know, come back in April and he's not going to have much time to prove himself. He have a bit, he will still have some time, but it'll be, it'd just be interesting to see uh, what happens at the second half of the season with him. Yeah. Do you think that if Jota is available in January for a cut price free from the Saudis that, that we go in for him? I would like to see that, to be honest. I think it just provides another option. And I think it's someone who I think I would be more comfortable with as, as an option than Solomon. But it just depends about what Postacoglu thinks of Solomon. Look, the, the reality is if, if, if Postacoglu really likes Solomon and is, and is convinced by him, there is no need to sign Jota. That's the truth. But if we do go in for someone like Jota, I think that says a lot, in my opinion. 